What's up guys? Gonna do an oil change today on my Skag Tiger Cat 2. It's gonna be the first oil change. 7.4 hours. I already took the rear bagger off. It's the first time I've taken it off. It's real simple. <clears throat> Just have these two pins here. Take them out. And then you pull it off. These little hooks hook on here. I wish I would have known it was that simple. I would have taken it off already when I was cutting. So it's it's real simple. They got this little hose here. I'm just gonna pull that down. On this way, and we're gonna drain it into this jug that I have here. Okay, I got the oil all drained out. I just put this back. Now we gotta get the oil filter off, which is right there. It's really hard to get to. I'll use this wrench that is uh, flexible. If you have some oil filter pliers, it'd probably work easier. I was able to get it loose. So now <clears throat> I'm gonna take some paper towels and stick it underneath the filter. And then I'm gonna take the this bag and put it over the filter when I take it off just to prevent making a big mess. Alright guys, so I got the oil filter off, cleaned it up. This is the one I'm going to be replacing it with. It's the only one they had at AutoZone that would cross-reference over. It's a little bit deeper. But it's the only option I had today. Put a little oil on the gasket first. Got it on there. I forgot to mention, whenever you change your oil, 
to always warm up your engine first. It helps it drain out better. Now we're going to fill it up with oil. I'm going to be using Rotella T6 Synthetic 5W40. I think the manual says it holds 2.2 quarts. All right, got the oil in there. It took, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it was just over two quarts. And you check the oil, you don't screw the lid in. You just leave it on there. It's hard to see, but it looks good. Now we're gonna check the air filter. This air filter gets extremely dirty. So I'm just going to blow it off. That's one of the reasons I didn't want the FS. I wanted the FX model with the heavy duty air cleaner on it. But uh, I'll just have to keep up on the maintenance on this one. Alright, got the air filter done. So the engine's good to go. I started it up, checked the oil again. Now we're going to put some grease in it. And the grease fittings on the deck are inside the spindle. Got one here, one on the inside of this one, and then on your center spindle, it's right there. And on the back of the deck, got a grease fitting here. And then one on that side. Got a fitting here. On the front of the caster on there. One on this side. And one right here. And one right here. That's all the ones I see right now. So I'll put some grease in those. And we should be good to go. Alright guys, that concludes the service on the Tiger Cat 2. Got it all greased up. Check the air pressure on the tires. Check the blades. And uh real sandy where I live. The blades are already starting to show some wear. So I have to sharpen those in the next couple of days. I think I covered everything. If you have any questions, put in the comments. If there's anything that uh, you think I did wrong. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.